Is everyone just staring at me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, pressure's on, you guys are just all looking at me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Uncharted, presented by Filson. We're at Seahurst Park today, and we're lucky enough to be going fly fishing with Will Borgen and our guide, Jordan. Walk us through what we're gonna do, good friend. All right, so we got some fly rods in our hands. We're gonna go out here and start casting out some of these sea-run cutthroat trout that are gonna be hanging out here off the, off the shore for us. What's your guys' experience level? Two times. Two times, Two times all right. fly fishing, so see how it goes. And what about you? Zero times. There we go. So I'm that's here to learn. Best. You that's guys can best. teach me. All right. Well, that's what I'm here to do. So we're going to get after it. All right. All right. We're ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. So we got a creek that's dropping in right here. And with fishing, you're always trying to find like a source of fresh water, moving water, anything along those lines that's going to bring some fresh food sources to the fish. And okay. so we're going to be trying to get our flies into that seam and stripping the flies back. And when I mean stripping is just pulling the line back through the end of the fly rod and bringing your fly back towards you. So you get your fly out of the rod. Best way to do that, set your rod down like that, grab your line and just rip out some line until you get that blue line out of the end of your rod tip. And so like I was telling you guys, you gotta imagine that we got a clock sitting right here in front of us off to our right. And we're gonna, when we go backwards to cast, we're gonna stop at two Stop at 10. Stop at two, stop at 10, okay? Okay. Once you feel you have momentum, you're just gonna let it fly. All right. Yep, and let it go. Hey. Is that better? Yep, and then so now you're gonna let it sink a little so bit. I know it doesn't seem like we're casting too far out. Yeah. You'd be amazed at how many fish would be swimming this shallow right okay. now. I'm no expert here, but it's getting out there. You kind of see that seam out there? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of trying to go. Where the smooth to the ruffles. As you get more comfortable with your casting, strip out a little bit more of that line off the reel so you can uh, uh, get a little bit further cast. Yeah, I'll try that. Yep. Like, I always tell people when I'm guiding them is like, teaching someone how to fly cast is like teaching how to skate kind of. You gotta get your own style and your own technique, right? Yeah. I can show you how to lace the boots up, how to tie the, how to tie the skates on, but once I give them to you, you gotta learn how to do it. Hardest thing you've ever done, easiest thing you've ever done. This is a very hard skill. I think you got to do it a lot to get good at it, but. How popular is fishing in Minnesota as compared to hockey? Um, or hunting? Prob probably pretty popular, yeah. but same with hunting. I mean, hockey is definitely the most popular. Yeah. Did you just start playing hockey because everyone did, or was it something that you wanted to try? My mom's cousin took me skiing, or everyone else was skiing, and she took me skating. Solid. So I think I just kind of like skating and I, I think that's why I started. I'm not really sure. Or a rock, I don't know. I think it was a rock, I just got it snagged. You even got a cabin with your sister. That's gotta be a good brother-sister relationship to actually buy property. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we got, a, we got a cabin seven doors down from my mom on the same lake, so it's nice just Someone's always around. My yeah. mom was at the lake full time now, so she can take care of it when we're not there. Yeah. Are there guys on this team who have really helped your game or helped you through the process of becoming a mainstay, or do you kind of credit your own work in getting there? I'll give credit to all of them. I don't know. They all, they've all helped me out in their own way. No shout out for your roommate, Maddie Beneers. Uh, he wasn't here when I first got here. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I'm still on the team because of Maddie, because <laughs> I live with him. What is that like? Or do you guys have good boundaries at home? <laughs> um, we have boundaries. I mean, we're, I mean, actually, no, we don't have boundaries. We're, we're with each other all the time, so we don't really care what we say to each other now. Yeah. It's like, you, I mean, you live with someone for that long and you're with them every single day for three quarters of the year. Yeah. So. Um, no, we're, we're pretty comfortable with each other, and I don't know if there's many boundaries. 
How cool is it to be out here doing this just 30 minutes from... Oh, that was There nice. it is, the practice rink. Like, look around. Yeah, this is awesome. The views are incredible. Yeah, we got lucky, no rain today. I know, right? It was a shock, like my first day here. When I landed and I was just driving around and seeing all the mountains everywhere, because it was so nice. But it was pretty awesome, see, just because I'm from a really flat area. Yeah. Oh, brutal. All right, bro, you ready to get out here a little deeper? Yeah. Let's walk out here a little bit more. This feels weird. Feels it, like the, the suction around your legs yeah. is different, right? I, haven't, I don't know if I've actually worn waders before. All right, let's try to get one of these bad boys in here, man. Yep. Well, Will, another great day in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Didn't catch anything, but it happens. It's part of fishing. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thanks to, thanks to Jordan for taking us out. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for coming out, man. We'll get you, we'll get you a fish this next time. Yeah.